coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. St. Lucia's Prime Minister and Chairman of the Caribbean Community, Honorable Alan Chastney, has expressed solidarity with the government and the people of the Bahamas following the devastation caused by Hurricane Dorian. Grand Bahama Island and Tobacco Islands felt more than the brunt of Dorian which landed as a Category 5. It remained stationary over the islands from September 1st to September 3rd. Thousands of homes and buildings have been destroyed. As of Monday, September 9th, at least 44 deaths have officially been confirmed in what Prime Minister Honorable Hubert Minnis has described as a historic tragedy. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney says at this time, CARICOM stands ready to give whatever assistance is required to deal with the effects of this tragedy. Honorable Chastney informed that in advance of Hurricane Dorian, the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, Stidima, took the lead to coordinate the regional response mechanism and deployed two rapid needs assessment teams to the Bahamas. The teams have since informed that the immediate needs of the island are water and water pumps. The government of St. Lucia thanks persons who have expressed interest in this humanitarian thrust and encourages everyone to make their cash donation at the following accounts in the name of the government of St. Lucia. A delegation from the University Hospital of Martinique recently paid a visit to the Owen King EU Hospital to provide their feedback and technical expertise on the transition from the Victoria Hospital to the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Health and Wellness, Felix St. Hill, explained that the team provided support in all facets of the transitioning including medical, clinical, organizational and technical. Sandhill noted that Martinique recently went through a transition in themselves to the University Hospital where they had some enlargements of their facilities and their own services. The Department of Health and Wellness wants to assure the general public that transitioning plans for the new hospital are progressing smoothly and that it is committed to providing quality healthcare services. In preparation for the new school year, a delegation from the OACS Commission visited the Debara Combined School in Babano to deliver school bags and school supplies. The relationship between Debara School and the OACS was established approximately 10 years ago. Josette Edward Schalmine, Program Officer in the Environmental Sustainability Cluster, and Ms. Sally Ann Alfred, Paralegal Officer in the Legal Unit, continue to work with the staff of the OACS Commission to coordinate recurring donations to support the students. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.